You mentioned that United have been without a player that's as specialist as what Casemiro does for a long, long time. However, he's just turned 31, Cam, at the end of last month. He's obviously fantastic and still got years left in the tank. But in terms of the longevity, is that a concern for you? Is he more of an intermediate solution for the time being? Will United need to dip back into the market and find someone else to replace him maybe in a couple of seasons? Well, this is an, it's an interesting one. If he keeps getting suspended at his current rate, I think he could go on playing until he's 40. But I think outside of that, um, I think in defensive midfield, you don't necessarily need to be the quickest player, the most mobile, the most physical. And those are probably the traits that decline quickest with age. I think it's a lot more about your intelligence, about the mental side of the game in that area. I think obviously the... The short burst have still got to be there, but I think his positioning so good. And what you see with Casemiro a lot of the time is that now that he's been in been at United for a little bit longer, he knows how Ten Hag's trying to get us playing. He's able to read where the ball's going to be whilst United have still got the ball. So he's able to read and position himself where we're most likely to lose the ball before we've even lost it, which is so important. And that isn't going to decline with age. His passing range is only going to get better with age as well. So I think there's still probably another three to four years left in him. But then beyond that, I think it's like... The responsibility now falls on United and the um, recruitment structure in place at the club to make sure that we do what City did with Fernandinho. They had City with Fernandinho have one of the best defensive midfielders the Premier League has ever seen. I'll die on this hill. He never got anywhere near the amount of credit he deserved. He didn't get the amount of appreciation that he should have had for being the player he was. But what City did was a couple of seasons before Fernandinho was ready to retire, they bring in Rodri so they can phase him in slowly and it's a seamless transition when Rodri eventually takes over. That is what United have got to get to doing. And before we get there, we've got to fill all the other gaping holes in the squad. So that's the position that we're in compared to City where they've got two great players in every position. So if someone wants to leave or you know someone's approaching the end of probably their career, you can get someone new in two years before and there's a seamless transition. That's the next step for United to be able to start trying to sustain the success and get to the next level under Ten Hag.